everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's 4.05 on March 3rd, 2014. We're going to take a look at the S&P 500 chart after. I remind you that the website and this video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's take a look. Well, um, maybe I should have waited for the futures market to uh, open before I did the uh, before I did the video yesterday, but uh, I didn't, and that's okay. I mentioned that if we break this line right here, that that would likely set up a move to uh, to test some levels down in the lower 1800s. And let me get rid of that line, and I'll tell you why that why that's there in just a second. And so here we are. We broke down through that line. We closed today underneath our uh, truncated inverted head and shoulders uh, pattern, which means now we got to fight that battle again. But as as we looked at this move today, it was rather swift and it was rather. Uh, uh, at times it looked like it was going to be a, a, a really, really big sell-off, but we kind of put on the brakes <clears throat> around 1834, 1835. So just for jollies, I decided to uh, see what would happen if I took this top line, created a parallel, and then lined it up back here. And you see it, it almost looks like, well, maybe this gets changed. Stop that. Maybe this gets changed from being an ascending wedge. Maybe we're a little bit more of a channel thing. Um, so I'm going to change this line. I'm not going to get rid of it because I think it's still probably something definitely worth keeping our eye on because it lasted as support for... Uh, for just a little bit more, uh, yeah, a little bit more than than two weeks. Now, the reason I'm I'm looking at this and I'm wondering, could we recover here, and then come back up? One of the reasons I'm I'm considering that as a possibility now, is because sort of what I see potentially going on with most of the trading today once we made that initial plunge down it it is possible that we are going to reverse down here and start to head back up um, so I I would say since this line is parallel to the uh, uh, resistance line up at the top here if this breaks and I know that's kind of changing methods in midstream, but I think if this breaks, then we would end up with today's action uh, being pretty much a flag, a a bear flag. And if this breaks, then more than likely we will come down to test something in the low 1800s. But if we bounce tomorrow, and we start to move back up, then 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 I think we may be okay despite the weakness that we saw today. Um, if we if we take a look on a two-minute chart, if I can slide this around here to show you uh, what we have, and if we just draw some trend lines here, you can see that this line and this line sort of line up so maybe maybe this was just our trip down to discover what what is hopefully what may end up being a longer uh, term uh, support line than this one again sometimes when you have a an, uh, an ascending wedge you, you break that and you don't make the full target from that wedge. Which, by the way, if we did make the full target from this little ascending pattern here between this support and this resistance line, 
uh, <clears throat> that would we would expect a move down into the low 1800s because that's where this whole thing uh, got started. But for right now, I'm I'm remaining cautiously optimistic that we may bounce here. And and you know, as as much as I don't like to talk about news, because I believe that the markets primarily trade on technical patterns. Um, <clears throat> we know that <clears throat> even with news, the technical patterns are still just as valid. But what happens is if you have some bad news, you might take out a level of support to find and to discover another level of support sufficient to overcome whatever damage that news may have caused the markets. In other words, uh, think of these trend lines like speed bumps or maybe even think of them as levees. And you have a levee right here that wasn't quite sufficient to overcome the flood of the bad news of what's going over uh, what's going on over in the Ukraine but we've got another levy down here that we discovered that is sufficient to overcome the flood of that news so let's just see what happens going forward we may be looking at a very small inverted head and shoulders pattern right here additionally the dynamics of this are look right and what I mean by that is oftentimes when you have a, a uh, an inverted head and shoulders pattern, the uh, right side of the head is formed on a breakout from descending resistance. And then the left shoulder, excuse me, the right shoulder is formed uh, on a back test. Oftentimes when you have a head and shoulders top, the, uh, the breakdown through a, a an ascending channel forms the right side of the head, then your back test to that broken support line forms the right shoulder. So maybe this is what we're seeing here. If it is, it'll be interesting to see where we where we head early tomorrow morning. If we get up over this line at some point, then I would expect for the S&P to get back up over um, our 1850 two and a half line right here approximately and I would also expect it to give a challenge to maybe even hop back over this descending excuse me ascending support line I think it's it's possible that we could do that so if if we get up over this little line here then we would be looking at a a uh, <clears throat> inverted head and shoulders pattern that would have a target of about something a little bit over 1860. So if this pans out as an inverted head and shoulders, what we saw today could be a fairly easy to recover. So that's it for uh, March 3rd, 2014. I think, you know, you, I think it's pretty clear this break, not a good sign, but where we bounce today, coupled with what we see on this three minute chart, maybe we can recover and pop back up to go uh, challenge this maybe even challenge this this line again because I still think we have one if we if we can finally get over this neckline like I said we never did get our clothes of 1860 or better I'm still looking for that um, if we can do that then I think we've got a good shot at this uh, truncated inverted head and shoulders pattern paying off fairly well. And there it is, left shoulder, head, truncated right shoulder, but then just a bunch of non-committal sidewaysness for about the past, oh, pff, six, seven sessions. So there's your video for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with these little changes, uh, changes in, um, in approach. But you know, as, as the chart reveals itself more and more over time, sometimes you have to take a step back and say, well, maybe we got something slightly different going on. So I'm open to that idea today. Thanks again for watching.